Yo, what's up? Good morning. Uh, going to Delhi, and this is our first rest stop, and I'm extremely sleepy. I slept for like a few hours. I literally slept on like uh, the whole journey up to this point. But this is the rest point, and I am not eating or drinking anything because my stomach has been messing me up today. I don't know why. So I'll get to Delhi before I eat. So let's go. Hey, what's up? Uh, welcome to this channel, um, Aramide, and I'm going to Delhi from Jaipur in this video. And like I mentioned earlier, I've been sleeping all through the journey to this point because uh, the bus was for 6 a.m. But unfortunately, it was a bit late. So we set out at about 6.40, which is still fine. And I'd never ever like passed this route before, I think. I mean, I wasn't sure because I was sleeping, like I mentioned and this rest stop was was amazing like it was looked good it was huge i think they had like i didn't really go inside because i didn't plan to eat anything like i mentioned my stomach was messing up so i didn't eat anything but i walked around and i saw the place it was nice so that is the way to the bathroom uh that is the building the gray one that looks like a square that's the bathroom so from the outside so i woke up when we the bus had stopped but from outside this is what that rest stop looks like it has lots of restaurants and it usually also has like clothing like boutiques or clothing stores so if you're traveling and you forgot to buy gifts for your people you could just stop by and buy and there's the sweet shop like howdy rams they also sell food as well and then there's uh a fuel station like uh fill it, a gas station you can buy petrol just beside it right there see so it's usually nice for families or drivers to just stop there and then there's like a whole truck park also so trucks don't just park uh in the middle of the road like they do in some places i'm aware of <laughs> and this is the tool so the tool has i think about 20 uh stops which helps at least for traffic but um sometimes because of the huge amount of people traveling but this road was particularly empty and here we're about an hour away from my final stop we're close to ifco chok here i think so ifco chok is in gurgaon and you know if you're going to like gurgaon you don't need to follow the bus all the way to delhi you can just get off at ifco chok and this is my stop called dollar Kwan. it's inside delhi and from here to the airport by metro is like two stops away so where i stopped then the auto guys does this uh, tricycle riders right I'm like where are you going where are you going i'm like okay i'm going to corner place and they're like huh i'll take you there for 300 i'm like bro it's just there i'm like no just point me to the metro station now from that place to the metro station you just need to uh take the fly over like the pedestrian bridge across and you're at the metro station and it's literally one stop and it won't cost you more than like 20 bucks and they want to charge me 300 bucks for that so because i hadn't eaten anything i got this donor uh chicken sandwich i guess with fries and a coke and i think it helped me a bit but i can't count how many times i had to use the bathroom it was crazy so this is the so that uh the donor and all these other restaurants that are like at the ground floor of this metro station so you see this also goes to the airport and you can use the other route to go into delhi so depending on you know where exactly you're going and if you want to join like the pink line so in delhi the train has different uh lines there's the pink line the yellow line and you can see just above there your direction so you can see where the train is going so before you get on the train it shows you the next stop and like what i did i use google maps so it shows me okay get the bus the train to this stop so i just look at it and if it tallies then i know i'm on the right side so if you're hindi speaking or english speaking either way it's fine and you can get on the train and navigate your way properly so this is uh the next stop now which is shivaji stadium so from here to connor place uh connor place is popularly called cp by a lot of people it's just about 10 minutes walk and i don't know whenever i come to delhi the vibe is just very different compared to jaipur's vibe i like i know a lot of people complain about delhi the pollution uh it's crowded blah but unfortunately or fortunately i just i like the crowd i don't know i feel like you can just get lost in the crowd and you don't stand out like you do in jaipur you know so 
you can merge into the crowd and i was passing and the guy selling these peanuts was like yo yo come 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 try come by so i went back took a short clip and then he gave me some of the ones he had roasted and then i tried them and it was nice so this is me trying the peanut and yeah he gave me some and i tried the peanut it was warm was you know nicely roasted it was nice so i enjoyed that and then i saw this cinema i didn't stop bible i saw that and there's so you see there are like so many students and people just doing their business here you can get nice quotas you can get jeans you can get t-shirts you can get almost anything just out like here and there's like lots of food also you can get food so i saw this shop and I saw that they had boba. So I was like, oh, I haven't tried that in a while. And the last time I tried was in Jaipur. And it wasn't giving, you know, what I know boba should give. So luckily they had the one with like the tapioca beads or whatever. So that's the one I got. It was a blueberry boba tea. It was really, really tasty. And I saw Mustard's. And because, so what I went to, I literally just went to do like a very, like, uh very fast thing i just wanted to drop something in delhi and then my plan was to stay till like 11 p.m and then board the late bus back so you see you also see like people doing like artwork and if you want to draw a tattoo you can do that too hello you can draw the tattoo if you like and there are so many stores there so that was an apple store i just walked in and i was you know trying out the iphone 16 pro max and i mean look at how it looks it looks really good so who knows let's see if we can get one soon so everywhere i see a unique low i just have to stop and go inside i just love their things i love the quality of their things and how it feels it's like so soft it holds your skin i mean hopefully who knows one day I can get a uniqlo deal or something because i'm serious like i'm a fan of uniqlo i have a f one or two of their things most of my uh thema wares are from uniqlo and they're amazing so i had bo I bo so after i left uniqlo i was like you know what let me just leave early i didn't want to stay any any lot like for a long while so i just booked my bus for like 6 20 and so i took uh one station back to dollar core and that's where i got off in the morning and this is me uh a dollar coin now the sun was setting and you know yeah and that's it going back home about to get my bus uh right in front there yeah what's up so i'm going home now and uh the metro station is on that side yeah the metro station is on that side so someone from the bus company called and said I should go to Metro Pillar 99. Uh, that way it's easy for um, the bus to find me and I can find the bus easily. Someone, uh, one other guy was like, oh, let me take you for 20 bucks. And I'm like, nah, don't worry, I'll just walk. Because uh, the bus is supposed to come for 6.20 and this is just 6.02. So to add some more steps in is not going to hurt. And every time I come to Delhi, I just always end up doing like over 10,000 steps. Like the last time I checked, I had about 9,900 and something steps. So I'm sure by now it will be more than 10,000. Anyway, we're about to get on the bus, Nugo, and uh, off to Jaipur. And the bus came right on time. I've, I don't know if you... So my first Delhi video, I was supposed to go to Delhi with Nugo, but it didn't come. And now I've used it like twice. My... Um, Agra video I went through I went I came back with Nugo and this is Gurgaon we just this is just past ambient small and then this DLF I think and in the bus we got a bottle of water which you can see there and this pack this snacks packet so it was nice because you know like I said I was skeptical about eating lots of stuff so apart from the donut sandwich you saw me eat and the uh, bubble tea this was the last thing I ate I didn't really like this soya thing it was too masala masala ish so but this drink was too sweet but i mean i still drank that and then there was also the biscuit there was this yeah this is like a peanut snack thing it was also really sweet but i mean i still ate it there was this biscuit i also ate it, it was really sweet and i met some i met a lady on the bus like we sat together and she made the whole trip wholesome because we just gisted from beginning to the end and you know it was nice it was nice but i will not be taking that 6 p.m bus again too early for me 